While you were creating great things with pipe cleaners, you probably missed the alien live-action shooter game, new car tech from Tokyo, and China's bigger than CERN collider. Welcome to, in case you missed it, Halloween edition. <laughs> I'm bad at that, sorry. Where the Great Pumpkin's uprising against humanity has been foretold since 1966. It did it! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You can celebrate with us by dressing your children as the heroes that lie within. You can also annoy all your neighbors, but win the affection of every internet stranger by creating a sing-along Halloween display. I know that your powers of retention are as wet as a warthog's backside. Which approved? <laughs> oh, and I'm naked, but this is all you're seeing. Up here, up, up. <laughs> What? It's magic. Chinese state-run media just announced that the country will begin construction on what will be the world's largest super collider in 2020. The facility is expected to be at least twice as large as the CERN collider and smashes matter with more than seven times the energy. Of course, Stephen Hawking has warned us against messing with the god particle, but we're not scared about that. What happened to your eyes? Where am I going? We won't need eyes to see. But we should be. In case you're looking for more frights, we've covered Realm Picture's first ever live action zombie shooter game just a few months ago, and now they're back with level two. These lucky folks were casually perusing chat roulette, like you do, when BAM! I need your help to get them off that ship. This time, the storyline was about people stuck in space going up against infected aliens. Players were able to wear an ass-kicking exosuit, shoot things, and basically help a survivor escape a bunch of aliens in deep space. To do it, they had even more staff who had cool jobs like this. And Dave's actually been inside this guy, flying it around like a kite. Dave, what was it like? It's pretty fun. Um, probably the most fun you can have inside a giant worm. Realm Pictures lets their followers know when they're about to live stream on the Twitter feed, so that might be worth following. Toss me a pirate hat! Go, go! <laughs> Tokyo's auto show just wrapped, and one of the most riveting bits were the display of cool head and tail lights. LEDs are becoming mainstream, but this full rainbow spectrum is another thing entirely. Car makers are now using lasers to express low beams with white and high beam in a laser that can go basically any color in the red, green, or blue family. Not only are they pretty, they're smart lights that can detect changes in natural light and adjust for it. It's pretty smart for a car. How smart are they? And now, Too Long Didn't Read, where we sum up the week's news because the Great Pumpkin is about to come and kill you all. Sony kicked off its inaugural Paris Game Week. A military spy blimp at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds broke free of its tether and floated 100 miles away. The daily fantasy sports industry has drawn up plans to regulate itself. And the South by Southwest Festival pulled a pair of Gamergate-related panels due to threats of on-site violence, then reinstated them, sorta. Have a spooky time! <laughs> I'm 